And you're responding to your friend. And, yeah, look, I'm responding to a friend, a mentor, a brother. But and also, I'm responding to South Africans. And you're against what he's saying? Because his views are mainly views of the majority of our people in this country. Hmm. And I'll be telling you this. You see, Noam Chomsky, in manufacturing concerns, he, he clearly um, you know, <laughs> articulated his views and suggested that media is capable of making us believe anything that it wants us to, be, to believe. And I've said when I was speaking, I do not want to flush the water with the, with the baby, right? Mm -hmm. The bath water with the baby. By that I was implying, there's a good work that is done on this thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we need not condemn the good work. We need not make a mistake by, or, of condemning the good work that can us go out and, and, and go donate clothes um, to, to the orphan or, the, or to the orphanage home. Mm -hmm. We can't condemn that. That we actually co co comment and, 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 and clap hands for that. Mm. Um, and, but, but what is it that the criticism is from? The criticism is personality cult. Is that you, you don't uh, want the society to believe that uh, this is done in the name of Mandela, point number one, right? The only reason the society believes this is because media is the is the one is the is the driving force of this campaign, mm. and media being the driving force of this campaign knows very well that the beneficiaries of this thing are not necessarily the poor as equated to the rich. Those who go out and get credibility for their companies that today they are seen on TV, they are seen on media, on Facebook, on newspapers, having given to the poor, and we say, wow, KFC gave to the poor. And then we, we fail to question KFC's role in fitting the society with GMOs. Right? Now, I'm, I'm saying to you that um, we, we, we then come back and say, the poor, of course, then he must accept, the poor, of course, mm. care less about what this day is. Even if it was to be called the Wood Day, I'm saying to, to my brother now that the poor would open their hands and receive the food. Because media would have said to them, in the Wood Day, we give, we allow people to receive, and, and, and we, we try to do away with the social injustice. Media would have said that. But what is it that we are mainly concerned with? What we are concerned with is that we don't want to have some merry-go-round activity here that we go around, go around, go around forever. We are saying, keep on, keep on giving the poor, keep on donating to the poor. But as you donate, let's not be blind. Let's not be blind to the reality that uh, South African majorities and not only South Africans, but Africans, and not only Africans, but the world is subjected to. Let's not forget that owners of banks, owners of mines, owners of the colonized the land of South Africa continue to donate on this day as if they are not responders responsible to the devastations that our people are subjected to. Now, now when you give to the poor, when you give to a homeless man, what do you say when you don't question what led to the man being on the street? Because we are saying combine the, the, the actual work that is done on this day to the economic question that we are having. Why did the man sleep on the street? Let's, let's, let's not then say because you are carrying a shop right checkers, uh, uh, you, you know, a, a shop right uh, a plastic uh, bag with grocery in it, and then we say that is all and it ends there. Why did the man end on the streets? And that is what Martin Luther speaks about to say you don't become a philanthropist and, and, and leave the question of the economy because philanthropy on its own exists because of the social injustice in the society. If we were all fine, if we were all well, what will be the relevance of Mandela Day in our, on, in our generation? What will you be donating to? You won't be donating to employed people who have housing, who have uh, all services such as water, electricity, and sanitation. You won't be donating to those people. And probably that will be the time we'll be focusing on the quality of education. Now, I'm just saying to my brother that let it not be uh, that we, 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 we sound like people who are on an onslaught against Mandela. He's a black brother, he's a black father, he's a black grandfather that I don't have time to attack a son of a slave. I can't attack a black man for, for having fought for freedom like anybody else. I'm not attacking that black man. And this is not a political question in a sense of what politics have been subjected to. This is a question that all South Africans need to interrogate. Now, now I conclude, and here are the three points. One, I reject personality cult. 
I reject the so-called Mandela thing, being called the Mandela thing. I don't reject the good work that is done by ordinary South Africans. Mm. I reject the media propaganda that suggests it is all done in the name of Mandela. It, they, they all have to go out for 67 minutes while they are responsible for the crisis that we are facing. I can't celebrate Lon Min buying people groceries today when not long ago Lon Min could not pay workers what they were demanding and led to South Africa being devastated and wasting so much money on Palam Commission after 35 mine workers were killed. I can't celebrate that Lon Min today is going to be donating 100,000 to someone. But, but, but I am glad that that family is receiving that money. But the devil that is giving that money, I don't love that devil. Point number three is that if our society does not want to be open to criticism, then we are not living in an intellectual society. We can shape our own society. We can change our own condition. Now, 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 now by that I mean, by that I mean, we, 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 don't be shocked if you see me walking out of this studio, going to an orphanage, giving them something. Don't be shocked. It, it is not that, that, that seeks to say, I am not doing it because of Mandela a uh, day. And, and, and by Mandela, I'm not attacking the grandfather and, 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 and the comrade who is lying in the grave today. I, I don't mean that. I mean this so-called Mandela Day that is a media propaganda. Manufacturing consent say to us, we, we, we are simply trapped in a corner to believe that what is displayed on TV today, it is the reality of what we live in in our society. Now, my brother concluded by saying, <coughs> if those who go out on this day are able to give the conditions of our people will call, compel them to go back. And I reject that. I reject that. It is only the poor, it is only the ordinary and innocent people who will continue going back. KFC won't go back. McDonald's won't go back. APSA won't go back. They will not because their interest is profit. And the money that can resolve this crisis is with them, not with us. We are as poor as the homeless. We are simply selling our labor to survive. We can't afford to really keep the homeless out of the streets. Those who can afford to do that, they can't go there out every day. They go there on only for PR purposes. They have left communities devastated. And I am saying to my brother and the whole of South Africa that we, we, we need to really um, you know, uh, put uh, those who are responsible for the crisis to question, right? And, 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 and by that I mean, colonialism was not by coincident. Apartheid did not come by coincident. And therefore, the social economic injustices that were subjected to are not by coincident, right? Someone was responsible for, the, for that. And who is that person? And that person is the individual who owns the means of production that we should be questioning that individual to permanently resolve it, to permanently cure the disease and not keep on visiting the patient. And by that, I therefore conclude by saying, I will go out, whether 67 minutes, whether 10 minutes, whether 2 minutes, whether, whether a second, I will go out to spend a minute with a black brother on the street. But I know for sure that we will be in a secular mode, we will keep on doing that for as long as we don't question the economic crisis and those who perpetuate right, the injustice that we are in. And in that, I thank you. Yeah, no, uh, I'm loving the mood in the studio. And I think uh, key points have been raised, and yeah, uh, we need to change the way we.